And we currently have a clinical trial, uh, uh, which is uh, industry sponsored by Seattle Genetics. I've been very involved in the development of this, and it is now open in which for stage one and two non-bulky patients, we will be treating with four cycles of a novel chemotherapy regimen, which is adding the two powerful classes of drugs to standard chemotherapy. Uh, so we're adding brintuximab vidotin, the antibody drug conjugate, which has a very outstanding uh, uh, response rate really higher than about twice that of conventional chemotherapy and the uh, immune therapy, the checkpoint blockade uh, drug, uh, nivolumab. Uh, and the chemotherapy is streamlined to the bare essentials, classic drugs that are probably necessary. So brintuximab, vidotin, and nivolumab have been used as substitutes for bleomycin in the B and ABVD. And uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Abramson at Mass General Hospital, uh, did a small trial where he removed vinblastin. So he had a, a small trial where they used brintuximab, vidotin, plus doxorubicin and decarbazine without vinblastin. So brintuximab vidotin is an antibody drug conjugate of an antibody attached to a drug. Uh, the drug is monomethyl orostatin E. It is a tubulin inhibitor, and it has the same mechanism of action as vinblastine. Um, so it is not clear that there is additive uh, therapeutic effect of these two drugs, but there definitely is additive uh, toxicity, namely neuropathy, which usually resolves completely or almost completely, but sometimes doesn't and can really uh, impair people's functionality. So the combination we're using is brintuximab vidotin, nivolumab, plus doxorubicin, and decarbazine. And so we, in early stage Hodgkin lymphoma, so we think that this may be superior to ABVD. We are doing four cycles of this in patients with early stage Hodgkin lymphoma with the goal, uh, uh, non-bulky stage one and two, with the goal of achieving a durable, progression-free survival, duration of remission, comparable to that with combined modality treatment, and thereby eliminating the argument really in favor of adding radiation therapy.